I'm at the airport, I just got a snack, and we are about to board my flight for CES. This is my first time at CES, so I'm so excited. I've never been. And for full disclosure, because I'm not going for my employer, I actually will just get free reign and I'll be able to go to all the exhibits and see all the cool things. So for those of you who may not know, CES stands for Consumer Electronics Show. It is held every year in January in Vegas, and it is the world's largest tech expo event. So in the event, you get to see lots of cool tech innovations. And this year, we'll have keynotes from companies like NVIDIA and Delta. Because I'm going on Media Pass, I'll also have some sneak previews and some cool BTS of some of the exhibits. So stay tuned. I just landed and picked up my official CES badge from the kiosk there at the airport. They made it really easy and convenient to pick up. And now I'm gonna head over to the convention center. got to the venue. Um, this is day one of the media days. So basically CES allows members of the media and people like me to go in and get a sneak preview of all the cool tech. Um, the lighting is super pretty right now. Like look at that. And yeah, I'm about to see if I can pick up my ticket for the keynote by Delta, which will be in the sphere. So this is my first time at CES, but on the media shuttle here, I got some advice from some veterans. Um, there was one guy who'd been here for t over 20 years. And what he said was essentially make sure that you don't get overwhelmed, make a plan, and don't be afraid to cut short conversations if there's something that you'd rather see. I'll try to heed his advice and keep that in mind as I go into the expo. inventions and companies here I'm honestly so overwhelmed there's everything from travel to quantum computing um, to like personal assistants to AI translators and everything and I don't think there's enough time to look at all of these things but I'll try to do what I can check this out this is a hologram company and essentially they let you project yourself into many different screens all over the world so this girl she is apparently from the Netherlands and she's in the Netherlands but I'm able to talk to her here I can see and she can respond because there's like a little camera up there and yeah I was able to compliment her shoes and tell her that like her I also do like my black combat boots <laughs> <laughs> Am I correct? Yes, yes, yes. So they, they knew you before you knew you. Wow. I'm trying the world's first electric skate. Woo! <laughs> Media day one just ended. I am exhausted, but I got some swag, got to hang out with some friends, and now I get to hang out a little bit with Delia, aka Tech Unicorn. So it's now 10 p.m., but Delia and I have a bit of extra energy, so we're gonna try to film a YouTube video right now. Let's see how it goes. Hello, world. Hello, friends. We're here today with my best friend Maddie, and we're in Vegas, and she just left Google. <laughs> late so I probably should go to sleep but before I do I wanted to give you a glimpse of this hotel room because it is probably the biggest hotel room I've ever been in. Unfortunately, I went to sleep at around 3 a.m. yesterday because I'm undisciplined and was on my phone, but it's okay. We're gonna go to the gym now and then go to the expo as soon as possible after. You're keeping me on. Yeah, I'm strapped in. We're now in the middle.
middle of CES day two. Unlike day one, which was one giant expo hall with a bunch of different booths, today is actually separate press conferences that are media or digital content creator only scattered around Mandolin Bay Hotel. This is super cool. I've been able to zoom around to a bunch of sessions and I've gotten to see some sneak previews of features from companies like Toyota. And now we're gonna go see Samsung. So something I didn't realize before I came to Vegas for CES, CES is not just in one hotel on the Strip. It's actually scattered around many different hotels. As a result, no singular person can see every single session. You kind of have to pick and choose based on what you personally want to see and want to get out of the conference. So after this, I'm actually going to go back to my laptop and figure out what sessions I want to attend and make a game plan. 2025 CES press conference. up for the NVIDIA keynote and there's so many people here it literally feels like a concert. I'm in the Las Vegas Convention Center main hall, which has a lot of audio companies and gaming and XR. Let's check it out. my third expo hall of the day in the Venetian. It's so windy right now, but I got here in time and we are about to see the Delta Kino in the Sphere. just got back from the Delta keynote, which was in the sphere. The visuals were insane. It was really cool learning about Delta's new AI assistant, as well as their partnerships with companies, including Uber and Roblox. Plus Tom Brady was there, which was so random. Now I'm on my way to an award show. So follow me there. <laughs> I 
I'm now back in the Venetian after the Motor Trends award ceremony. It was so much fun. Even though I personally don't know too much about cars or about the automotive industry, I was able to talk to a bunch of seasoned professionals who really gave me a lot of useful insights. I also found another software engineer and we talked for like 30 minutes about C++ versus Rust and there was a lot of really good sushi. As an added bonus, right before I left, I got this bag. So let's open it together. So first we have this 5-in-1 wireless charging laptop sleeve. This is super useful. Next we have a power brick that has both USB-A and USB-C ports. And finally we have this wrapped thing and I don't know what it is actually. Oh, aw, it's chocolate. It is handcrafted single origin dark chocolate and has walnut, caramel, and tart cherry flavor. Cool. Thank you Motor Trends Awards. <laughs> It is now day two of CES. L'Oreal is hosting a media only thing in the Venetian, so I'm headed there now. I'm really happy I don't have to brave traffic. I was also able to sleep in a bit more, go to the gym, get ready. Uh, so yeah, very well rested today comparatively. I really only had like three, four hours of sleep the past days. I ain't afraid of the dark. Once you let the light in, you won't see the beautiful stars shining down from afar. No, I ain't afraid of the dark. I don't mind. Those machines in the lab, mm -hmm. it can do it with microfluidics. Wow. It's actually made at, similar to how you make um, computer chips. When dealing with the pain. Now heading to another hall in the Venetian. There's like five of them with expo booths here. final expo hall of the day and actually of the entire conference. I'm unfortunately leaving at 5 a.m. tomorrow but had so much fun and I will now stay here for an hour or so before heading off to another event. I got invited to a networking event hosted by the tech innovators in the region of Lyon in France. Um, this is so cool. So everyone is speaking French. I don't know any French. I know like three words. And it is held in the stratosphere, which is the tallest tower in Vegas and I think in the US. Like look at this view. Don't want to sleep tonight at all. Just want to watch them stars fall But you don't want to try to make Fire breath and open We got back from the club at like 2 a.m. And my flight is at 5 So I am now tasked with how to pack this and this into my personal item allowance. So wish me luck. We just landed in San Francisco, so I'm gonna sign off now. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.